Niggas think they can buy stripes. I don't give a fuck how many bodies that you bought. Don't bring up Boosie. Don't bring up Boosie. Just don't do it. I'm telling you. If you don't have heart to do it your motherfucking self, it's something with that. And that ain't no motherfucking nigga to trust. I, I just told you don't bring up Boosie because he's been battle tested. Do your fucking research. Battle tested. You can't buy strikes. You gotta earn them. And it's painful. It ain't worth it. Strikes for what? So you can come home to nothing? Motherfucker slandering your name and after all you done did? All the time you did, nigga, you did most your time in a hole. The motherfuckers fuck you over in that bitch. Come home and niggas won't. Let me stop. Let me stop. Big Bad Podcast. I am Elvin Zeko. This is AO Nation. Random Men 2 Mover. And this is. Look. If you don't put your address on your fucking PayPal note or your Cash App note, how the fuck are we supposed to know where the fuck to send this shit? A lot of y'all, for some fucking reason, has been a, a brass of motherfuckers not putting their address. On a PayPal note, what happens when you don't do that is that email address that your PayPal is attached to, we send up emails to that uh, email address and let you know we don't got no uh, fucking address and then your order's on hold until you respond back. If your the email address that's attached to your uh, PayPal, but if not the email address you use, then I don't know what the fuck to do. Don't hit me up tomorrow because I ain't get my shit. What here? Look here. If you don't got your Are You Serious shit by the 15th when we do this fucking live, you're going to get embarrassed because I'm going to just be letting random folks, I'm lying. <laughs> Everybody that come on the screen be in pain. I think we got like five more slots left for the 15th. If you want your slot to go live with me on the 15th, come to my uh, Instagram inbox and uh, $50. You'll have five minutes on the screen and shit like that. Scream at me. And everybody in the nation, whatever you want to do, if you're a rapper, if you want to speak to the people and shit like that, you'll have a chance to do that. But your search and shit are uh, uh, $15, except for the uh, Men 2. Uh, are you serious, sir? That one's going for 20 And for the Men 2 movement, I'll make the big announcement tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. We tune in tomorrow. I will be going live tomorrow for the Men 2 movement. All right. Um, all headwear is $10. Also, uh, get your shit together, be home. All right, Takashi snitched. Uh, no really big news there. Um, he told like what you expecting to do. What you expecting to do, dog? Um, there's a six nine everywhere. There's a six nine in your city right now. Run around, blending in, and you think it's all good because you high. He might be the one that has a little money and shit like that. But you know that he's not about that. But you keep him around. And you are so fucking high that you really feel like you gotta you you gonna have a way out. You're not thinking clearly. When it go down, he gonna do the same thing this nigga did. He might play tough for the first 20, 30 days, but the nigga's gonna do what the nigga's gonna do. You have to be built for this shit. Even niggas, listen to me. It's niggas who are built for this shit and even they fucking tell. It is a high 
it is a high percentage. What's the word? It's a high percentage? No, it's not percentage. It's a very high probability that a nigga is going to cooperate with the motherfucking authorities. Even if it's not the feds, the regular fucking police. Nobody wants to go to jail. When you tell a motherfucker, you snatch a nigga off the street, he's still high, and you let him know that this high shit, really that's all you tell him because niggas don't give a fuck about shit, but they don't. This high shit is over with. Niggas gonna do what the fuck they gotta do and they'll think that just like when 6ix9ine get out, hey man, shit fucking shot it was telling man, I ain't really tell, they already knew it. That's 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 niggas, that's that's how they come. They already knew this shit, man. I ain't I ain't tell them nothing. I ain't tell them nothing. Shotty fucking told these niggas try to fucking kidnap me, B. What the fuck? And now he can go do pop music. Because 6ix9ine still has fucking star power. Maybe even more now. And what do we have? Yet another motherfucker coming into our goddamn house, taking everything we have, causing fucking melee, destruction, and confusion, and they walk the fuck off Scott fucking free. And we looking like the stupid niggas all over again. And for you motherfuckers saying that $10,000, oh, that's not no fucking money. This is why I'm here. You have these fucking YouTubers. All they have is a channel. Most of these motherfuckers played video games before they did this shit. Going live, playing video games. They don't know nothing about no street. Nothing about no street. $10,000? Like they threw their life away for $10,000? Ten rats, nigga? Nigga, burn your whole house down for a half ounce, nigga. Right now. Ten rats ain't no fucking... What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Motherfuckers don't know shit. But on YouTube, with how many of them fucking subscribers? And it's all love. Motherfuckers, swear to God, I was hating when I was talking about... When I told nigga the baby ain't no fucking gangster, dog. That nigga is not that. I told, ah, uh, you, you're fucking speculating. You made a whole fucking video of, of, of all speculation. You don't even know this man. What? The, I don't know 6 9 You internet niggas be really fucking blowing me, dog. Gangster is not getting money. Gangster is not motherfucking, uh, 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 nigga, being rich is gangster. Nigga, taking care of your family is gangster. No, that's taking care of your family. That's being a good man. I've said this before. Being gangster means robbing, killing, stealing, and having no regard for the fucking law or anybody else's life. That's gangster. Cool is cool. The definition of gangster is not cool. The definition of cool is what the definition of cool is. The definition of wire is the definition of what wire is. The definition of reflection is the definition of reflection. You're not going to change the fucking definition because you want to be a fucking gangster so fucking bad. You put money on a nigga head because you don't have the heart to do it. Yes, the monsters back in the day, that's how they handle business. You know, put a hit out on the nigga, all that good shit like this. But we not in that area. I'm going to tell you, dog. Meat Meal, for me, was the first nigga that I actually really heard that popularized putting money on the nigga head. And now it, all, niggas come with all these fucking uh, analogies or metaphors for putting money on the nigga head. He was the first nigga I heard. And that's now that's all you have to do. Go to the ATM and you gangster as fuck. My mama said that if presidents and leaders of countries had to go out there and fight the wars that they, you know what I'm saying, want to go to so go to so fucking bad, it wouldn't be as many wars. We wouldn't have that many conflicts. But if you in the comfort of your own fucking home and all you got to do is hit a button and you got little soldiers that'll go out there and lose arm, leg, and everything for crumbs. Now, that, them is crumbs. What the military get paid, that's crumbs. I'm being honest with you. I, I know I told y'all I, I, kids should go to, to the military and shit like that, and they should because it's like training wheels to get started. Obviously, if it's training wheels, that means that it, it's not that fucking big. But everything will be... Who the fuck fought it? Who fought it, dog? Move, dog. Because you tripping.
You tripping, dog. But that's where it gets thrown off at. Got a 30 piece on a nigga head. Because I got the money now, I'm above the killers. Not saying, I'm not to my chief keep, I'm to my in real life. A nigga with money could damn near go to war with a broke killer. Listen to me. Where my tissue at, man? A nigga with money could damn near go to war with a broke killer. It's a nigga in your hood that got a whole bunch of respect. Niggas know that he'll bust that fuck. He'll do it. But with him and a whole ass nigga with money, it will be a even fucking fight. Maybe not even even. And these are the reasons I, I try to explain to y'all this street shit ain't all what it's cracked up to be. Your reputation for the average street nigga, your reputation only precedes you in the city that you in. Yeah, you got some street niggas who, you know what I'm saying, um, they can go different places and niggas know who they is, like, you know, big meets, you know, you know, actual legends that, you know what I'm saying, but... If it's not, if you haven't made it to the YouTube streets or the, the, the big screen and shit like that, then you're going to have to continue to prove yourself in every city that you go to. You're not going to be able to walk around Detroit, 8 mile or, or 7 mile, wherever the gangsters be at up there, the same way you walk around in your hood. Because folk, niggas going to check you like, nigga, who the fuck? Folks ain't going to just get out your way. You're going to have to prove yourself all over again. You only got one life. You barely made it, you know what I'm saying? Prove, like, earning your stripes where you from. Now you got to do it again every time you move? Yes, you know, real niggas can, can see real niggas. But that dope, tattoos, niggas bop, can, it fools niggas sometimes. Obviously. You know what I'm saying? Obviously. Obviously. Some niggas practice this shit. And this is another thing I was saying about the baby situation. Not Wayne the baby. This nigga name is the baby. I tried to explain to niggas that just because you got a body under your belt does not make you fuck it. That don't make you that. What makes you that is if you're that. Have you been war tested? Because the shit he did in Walmart, I'm hearing somebody else did that shit, but we off that. It's not about what you do. It's about what the fuck you did afterwards. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, you went and shot a nigga house up. That's what you'll hear in a nigga song. Nigga. Shoot a nigga house up, shoot it up. No, you that's what you'll hear. But what's important is what did you do afterward? To shoot a nigga house up at three in the morning, ain't nobody shooting back. It's simple. Bang, bang, bang. We out of here. Yeah, you gotta have, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be nervous, like, but it's ways, obviously, to make sure nobody around them coming. All good. You clear. Let's do it. Bam. It there. But what did you do afterward? The word that got out, you the one that did it. Because obviously y'all were beefing and shit like that. You the one that did it. But you done ran out of town. But everybody know you did it. And everybody know where your mama stay. Your kids go to school. Where your bitch work at. Your sister. Your auntie. You the fuck. You done got out of town. So when this nigga want to take it to the next level, what it is, the nigga that shot at your mama, slapped your baby, and you still ain't come back home. What the fuck is shooting up a nigga house at three in the morning? But you say you shot up a nigga house and that make you gangster. No, it don't. What make you gangster is what you did after. Niggas think they can buy stripes. 
I don't give a fuck how many bodies that you bought. Don't bring up Boosie. Don't bring up Boosie. Just don't do it. I'm telling you. If you don't have heart to do it your motherfucking self, it's something with that. And that ain't no motherfucking nigga to trust. And I just told you don't bring up Boosie because he's been battle tested. Do your fucking research. Battle tested. You can't buy strikes. You gotta earn them. And it's painful. It ain't worth it. Strikes for what? So you can come home to nothing? Motherfucker slandering your name and after all you done did? All the time you did, nigga, you did most your time in a hole. The motherfuckers fuck you over in that bitch. Come home and niggas won't. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm trying to explain to y'all that most of you motherfuckers won't have the luxury and the privilege of regretting everything that you did in the street in the free world. You won't have the luxury because you're going to die or when you regret it you ain't gonna have no chance to come home. And when you come home, niggas ain't gonna hear you because you're gonna be a broke old nigga. These motherfuckers can come from the goddamn mountains out of nowhere and just infiltrate everything that we work so hard for. Because they got some mysterious money from the same. Nigga, listen to what the fuck I'm finna tell you. The same feds that just gave this nigga that get out of jail free card by telling on these niggas is the same feds that gave, that gave this nigga this goddamn money. It's the same motherfuckers. It's the same motherfuckers. I've told y'all that McDonald's and Burger King are owned by the same person. Walmart and Winn-Dixie is owned by the same person. When I'm telling you this, don't tell me. No, it's not. It, it, his name is Walton and uh, Mr. McDonald. Because you don't know that. You don't know that you've been told that. I'm telling you, a, a great business model for any business model is a controlled opposition. This is why I came up with the concept of the golf course. It seems like everyone profits off the destruction of our warrior class, meaning young black men. The judicial system, the prison system, clothing, Fucking food. Just, just, just name them. Anybody who will profit off our destruction puts money into the music business, and that's where they handle their business at. Is on the golf course. On the golf course, all of them playing golf and telling each other how well they're doing because of. Young black men. We're nothing more than the coal that fuels their trains. Without us dying and going through this type of pain, they won't be able to survive. So, when 
the controlled opposition I'm speaking about is Atlantic, Epic, Universal, RCA, E1. All of them owned by one person. Make you believe that they competing. Hot 97, Shade 4, 5, e, uh, Breakfast Club, any urban radio, the top. They say Ebro in the Morning and Charlemagne, the Breakfast Club. You think they're competing. But the owners, shaking hands, playing golf. Loving it. Same way when Biggie and Tupac. Who made money no matter what? No matter who died. Even when they died, they even made even more money. The distribution companies. Imagine the people who were making the CDs and shit like that. Oh my God. I wish they had beef more. What better? Just listen to me. You have a peasant. Let's give one of these fucking peasants some money. All of them rap. Just choose one of them. All right. He got the money. I got plenty of record label friends. Y'all make him number one. No problem. Double XL source. All owned by the same person. He's number one. Hottest artist ever. Every radio station, everywhere you go. Every five minutes. He's hot. What do a rapper do? I need to get a song with the hottest artist out. What does that do to the, uh, the fake-ass peasant artist? It validates them. The artist wants to be a blood. You a fake-ass blood. You a fake-ass blood. What does he do? Pay a real blood to validate him. Billy Otto said, Yeah, so what? So what? Oh, man, so what? He came home. We all knew he was getting paid. We saw all this. We saw the whole thing happen. We thought it was all fun and games. How was it all fun and games when there are actually crimes being committed? These are actual lives. How was it all fun and game? The rap trap doesn't just have to do with incriminating yourself on camera because you have to in order for people to believe you're actually what you say you are. The rap trap also has to do with the way that people gravitate, street niggas gravitate towards fresh meat. Oh, he's a fucking duck. Oh, we finna take everything. So now it becomes a fucking bidding war amongst gang members trying to get close to this nigga. Everybody know this nigga fake as fuck, but out, this niggas is signing to him. Fuck that, I, I'm finna get me some of this money. Just like hoes. Just like hoes in a strip club when, when, oh girl, you better go out there and get that money. Shot town ring the alarm. All these motherfuckers uh, come out trying to dance around this nigga. And how did niggas not, didn't niggas do exactly that? Dance for this nigga? Yeah, they gonna go to the game. They gonna go to the game. It's all good. Even though we know this nigga ain't what. We know what the fuck is going on. But fuck it. He got the money, so I'm going to dance for him. I'm your friend, man. Because everybody just wants the money. And look at what the fuck they doing up there. Just laughing. They watch the game just like we... They watching the shit. I bet you I can throw $100,000 down that motherfucker and cause pure chaos. I bet you I can drop a crate of guns off around the corner and cause pure chaos. I bet you I can drop some dope right there and cause pure chaos. And time after time, when I tell you that a nigga ain't that, I'm telling you that so you understand we don't need to be doing nothing like that around him. What shot him try to do was actually do that gangster shit around him to show, to intimidate him. To scare him. Not knowing that he was working with them the whole time. I'm asking y'all, in what federal institution, what holding facility, before you're even tried or convicted, how do you get conjugal visits? 
We saw the picture with him actually touching this hole. I'm asking, am I thrown off here? Officer Martinez. We saw the pictures before. We saw the pictures after. No different than the undercover agent that go into these fucking biker games. Biker games? Fuck it. The, the agent that go in these fucking... Nigga, the, the blood game, the crip game. Cointel Pro. All around Malcolm X. All around fucking Martin Luther King. Because they know all you got to do is put money there. These motherfuckers ain't going to come take the money from them. They going to just protect them. They going to protect them. He'll become a hive. He'll become a hive for all criminals. They won't stop doing the criminal shit. They'll do more of it. All around them. All the time he's a fucking agent. Taking down everybody's name and what the fuck they've been doing. Ain't nothing been normal about this nigga since he came out. This nigga know what to do, how to do it, and, and what the fuck. But we so goddamn thirsty and high. I got a 30 piece on this nigga head. And you think you you think you getting over on him because you didn't overcharge the nigga and you you know you just finna shoot around the nigga. You not even finna shoot at the nigga. You just gonna shoot in his direction. Up, oh, I did the shit. This is our fault. As long as you feel like you gonna get you some goddamn money out of coward. And that coward is going to be loyal to you. We're going to continue to lose. If you dealing with a fuck nigga in this rap shit. I don't give a fuck how many times he say I love you and all that shit like this. When a nigga get the first opportunity, he going to leave the fuck out of you. You just hoping and praying he don't. You think you going to expose him when the fuck he... Man, come the fuck on. Short of you having a video of him goddamn getting fucked in the ass, you're not going to stop his goddamn money. Because nobody gives a fuck about the manager coming out trying to expose his old artists. You got to have some real blackmail shit going on. You got to. Start to understand why motherfuckers uh, got to go to the goddamn uh, Behovian, uh, Behovian Grove and shit like that. Nigga gotta have some over your head to get you to stay in the same spot. Contracts don't work no more. I got the paperwork and shit like that. You see what Rocco had to do the future? Ain't no loyalty in this shit. Nigga don't know you from birth. Niggas doing look how uh, a boosted brother did him. This rap shit is the fucking trap. When I'm when I'm saying trap, I mean this is like selling dope. Ain't no loyalty. It's everything. Is everything is just fucked up out here. You mad because a nigga, man, he, this nigga showed you who the fuck, you knew he wasn't no gangsta ass nigga. Nigga should, nigga should have to be cut a certain way for you to do anything like that. You don't just go kill a nigga because a, a fucking geek off the street tell you to do it and he got you some money for it. What happened when he folk question this motherfucker? Oh, I was in a whole nother place. Man, get your ass in this goddamn car. They gonna interrogate the fuck out of you. And if a nigga cannot stand interrogation, what the fuck? But because y'all niggas just so fucking, and they know that. These motherfuckers know it. They know. These niggas are so high and desperate. Any type of bone we send down there, no matter how fucking poisonous, they gonna bite on that motherfucker. Big Facts Podcast, I'm Mayo Paseco. Ain't no surprise here. It's a 6 9 in every city and state. Believe that. Make sure you hit the PayPal. I'll see you in a minute.